Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back or to get over your ex. Today, I want to talk about the text that you should never, ever, ever respond to from your ex if it's a first text. And most of you will get this text. Do not fall for it. Don't fall for it. I'm warning you. What is that text? I will tell you in a minute. But first, I want to welcome back the No Contact Army. Have you been a good little soldier or a bad little soldier? And if you've been good, then you've downloaded our app Silencio to help you stay in no contact. The link is below every single video. And if you too would like to join the No Contact Army, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you're in. And to read our No Contact Army manual, go to nocontactsecrets.com where you can read two free chapters before purchasing the book and everything, all the links are below this video. Okay, so someone left a comment and it's a story, story I've heard before, same old song and dance. So I figured I need to do a video, even though I've mentioned this in previous videos, this needs a video all unto itself. And he says, I've been in no contact for almost two weeks and my ex texted me today. She said, I hope you're doing okay. I responded, big mistake. And he said, I've been okay, just been busy, but work's been good. And she said, okay, I'm glad, I just worry about you. And I said, how have you been? And she said, okay. And then he said, what should I say now? And I said, well, you weren't supposed to respond to that. You broke no contact for no reason and you've relieved her anxiety. And he goes, well, I'm regretting it now. Do I go back into no contact? Would doing that make her think I don't worry about her since I did that? Did I ruin my chance by texting her? You delayed it. (laughs) Totally ruined it, probably not delayed it. Which if you're anxious to get them back, which most people are, You don't want to delay it. You want them back as soon as possible. And then he had an update. And this was about a day later. He said, I didn't respond after she said, okay, she texted me last night. I just hope you don't hate me. I hope you understand and that I'm hurting too. And I didn't want it to be this way. I didn't respond. Should I text her back or should I wait until she says something about wanting to talk about breaking up? And I told him, no, you get back into no contact and you stay there until I give you orders to not stay in no contact anymore. Most of you, as a first text, you're going to get, hi, how are you? Just want to see how you're doing. That's not why they're contacting you. Don't fall for it. Don't be naive. As you can see, she revealed her intentions. She didn't want him to hate her. She didn't want to be the bad, quote unquote, guy, the bad girl. They're contacting you because they haven't heard from you. They're wondering if you hate them and if they want to be friends in the future, they're afraid that you're not going to want to be friends with them or they just don't want to be hated or they're surprised that you haven't contacted them and they're wondering. It's like, what? I thought he would at least be begging or pleading. What? Haven't heard from them. They're not really calling to see how you're doing. Okay. That's like a Trojan horse. They're entering with that, but that's not their intention. So I know you're going to be tempted. I know you're going to think, oh, well, they're just starting with, hi, how are you? But then they're going to say something significant. I I doubt that. The first conversation I read between them, pretty much 90% of conversations, first conversations where the ex says, oh, I'm just calling to see how you're doing. They all go like that. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Oh, that's good. You know, I've been busy. You know, work's been good. Yeah, me too. Okay. Everybody. How is it everyone is having the same conversation? Because it's a fake conversation. Because that's not what they're contacting you about. So they're just fishing for information. And you think that they want to get back together. No. So as I've already mentioned in a previous video, and I'll put the link up here, you're not supposed to respond to the first text anyway, and you should definitely not respond to this because you, like this guy, will end up regretting it. Okay, so if you have any questions about that, place them below and I'll answer them, but I think it's pretty straightforward. You just don't answer, that's it. And if they do want to get back together, they will contact you again. 
And if they don't, they won't. It's really that simple. Don't overcomplicate it, okay? And I know people are asking for no contact success stories. So let me read one here before I end. Okay, she goes, he was the reason I found your channel. I kept myself binge watching all your videos to keep myself distracted. Once the chemicals in my brain faded and so the filter I used to see him through, I laughed at my own foolishness. This man was greedy, stingy, controlling, emotionally and verbally abusive, negative, depressing, short, fat, and ugly. Wow, what a catch. Is he available? <laughs> he actually texted me on my birthday, to which I never responded, of course, and never will. Thank you, Lucia, and this beautiful community you've got gathered. For now, after what I learned here throughout my breakup, my dating game has never been stronger. Yeah, girl. But most importantly, my mental health and self-esteem have never been in a stronger place. All my love to you. Thank you. All my love to you, too. And I asked her, okay, with all those wonderful qualities, <laughs> why did you want to date this loser? And she goes, well, all my friends were in relationships. And, you know, so I just, no, I don't care. You know, I'll use the old analogy here. So if all your friends are jumping off a bridge, are you going to jump too? I don't care what anyone else is doing and you shouldn't either. This is your life. You can live it the way you want. It just, everyone's on a different timeline. So don't do what everyone else around you is doing just because you think that's the thing to do. I was speaking to a woman on an airplane once and she was divorced. And so of course I had to ask her what was the reason for the divorce. And she said, well, you know, we dated for five years and then we just thought that was the next natural step. Really? <laughs> she didn't say, oh, we were madly in love. We were soulmates. He was my best friend. Oh, we just thought it was the next natural step. That's not the reason you get married. <laughs> so before you do anything, but especially when it comes to dating, before you get married and before you date losers, ask yourself, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Do I really want to do this? Like, why put yourself through that torture and anguish of dating someone with the trifecta of short, fat, and ugly. <laughs> All right. So if you would like my help personally to get your ex back or to stay away from the short, fat, and ugly guys, um, contact me at theartoflove.net and we'll send you the rates. And if you don't receive them within 24 hours, check your spam box. And if they're still not there, then contact us from a different email. Uh, and the direct link to that is below. If you're listening to this as a podcast, please rate and review. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.